CO2 is one of the number one ways to increase yield in our grow room. In the presence of light energy, CO2, water and nutrient are, are part of the plant's metabolism process. CO2 is actually processed into 45% of dry plant matter. So this becomes a very important additive in our grow rooms. It can raise our yield by up to 30%. But what levels are appropriate? Now, traditionally, we have enriched our gardens up to 1,600 parts per million of CO2. The average ambient CO2 level in an urban environment is about 450 parts per million. So we are greatly exceeding that. Now, what levels can be toxic to plant material? This is an important question. Over 2,000 parts per million can start to show undesirable results. What levels can be toxic to us? As soon as we start exceeding 4,000 ppm, it will most likely affect a human being. Levels in the 5,000 range, 10,000 range, these levels can be absolutely deadly. Now, how is this relevant to us? If we're not using CO2 monitor controllers and we're just burning propane or natural gas to create CO2, we could be hitting excessive levels. If we were driving with a tank of compressed gas in our vehicle and it opened accidentally, we could hit excessive levels in our vehicle. Let's say the windows are up and it's winter time. That if we became tired while we were driving with a tank of compressed CO2 in our car, we would have to roll down the windows immediately and pull over and check that tank. In our grow rooms, we should be using CO2 monitor controllers to control our enrichment equipment and hit optimum levels. Lately, we've been experimenting with optimum levels and we are coming to the consideration that potentially we are pushing our plants a bit too hard and nowadays we're starting to view 1,000 parts per million of CO2 as the optimum and sufficient level for maximum yield in our indoor gardens. So keep it safe, have fun gardening.